The spectacle of advertising creates images of false beauty so suave and so impossible to attain that you will hurt inside and never really know where the hurt comes from. And in all the pictures now, the famous people have already begun to look lost and lonely. Pictures of happy people grinning and dancing, days when you can't even stand the weather or the sky, little meadows and flags hung up, bank statements, objects with traditional names repeated by television presenters, questions put to celebrities, conversations about journey times and other falsifications of reality. Push away all this. Reach into your memories of blind milk for magic. Blank your mind with lightning, fire and blood and push away all this. New countries? No. Here comes the boom of the end of your civilization and don't you look pretty in your cool new jeans. Here comes what we get for a hundred years of privilege squandered and nothing done to educate our children or save our planet. Here comes the cabriolet edition of capitalism and the end of an empire you were too conceited to even protect. Here comes the rising tide. Here comes the Middle East. Here comes the weather. Here comes everybody. New countries. New countries will grow up on graceful promontories where a few people gather together and in their world it will be illegal to own the land. And they will make new literatures in which the oil age will be forgotten and our cities will be folded back into the sand and they will not even remember how we once held the world in our hands and we crushed it like a bird in our hands. It's you with your hands upside down, letting all your love fall into the rain on the street that I want to take with me. Then, that I don't want to take with me, but I just want to keep in the reflections of the traffic lights and the rain on the window. It's the idea of all the bronze statues of the city gathered up and put in a small felt bag in my pocket in the taxi, and the idea of you as the reflection of the magic lights and the trees as sentinels of something, trying to stand there still between the buildings when the city goes to sleep. It's the trees standing there, trying not to give the game away, breathing like horses all night. Chapter 6 in which we sit like docile cattle while you use the aesthetics of punk rock to sell credit cards back to us. The deciduous knowledge of the water that filters through the birch trees and what the sky did to the branches and the blue hues, how will they remember the oil age and with what carbon fragments left? Sodium vapour halo arch and the fictional protectors of cloud memory gathered up like this, holding each other, ignoring the time of the ice cap melts. The northern white cold candles keep their slid measure on us. And we always romanticised the road. It was the beginning of the contagion. The interstates elevate over land divided by secret names, the five spine of the sleeping country and a hidden politics of water. And we woke up in a strange world where the mind is frozen in the shallows of app reality and pornography is ordinary. Hey, Jack Kerouac, I think of your mother. The city is a magic sculpture we live inside. When the rain comes, the buildings remember wild other cliff tops. Eagles live on the rooftops. 
not as symbols, just as eagles. They remember, they remember the sky. Money is a superstition. Squares and squares of flame with memory inside them, remembering the map under the flood water, twist up the heart songs of the dead into empty stadiums and all the stars pulled down now for a real 